Hi YouTube, me again. Thanks for having me back, taking the time to watch a video tonight. Wanted to get back together with everyone and go through some more of my vinyl collection tonight. Some more things my wife and I had picked up recently and are currently enjoying. Nothing playing in the background right now, but if there was, it would be what we were listening to earlier today. So it's a new 4LP set that we picked up today. Ben Harper and the Innocent Criminals, Live from Mars. This was a nice surprise. I actually walked into the local Goodwill this afternoon and absolutely stunned to find this for 50 cents. They're on two for a dollar at the local Goodwill. So it was pretty amazing. They, um, Ben Harper does an amazing cover of Marvin Gaye's Sexual Healing on this. That sounds so unbelievable. It, it sounds almost as if Ben Harper is right in the room with you. And we just barely cracked, scratched the surface. Should I say scratched with vinyl? Probably not. On this, it's had its ups and its downs. Not too sure about it just yet, but keep giving it a listen and see how it works out. Interested to hear comments from other folks on what the rest of it's like. Feel free to leave a comment. Should we uh, keep giving it a whirl or cut our losses, turn it around on eBay? <laughs> What I wanted to share with everyone tonight is some of my Paul McCartney in, in Wings records, vinyl. Paul is, is one of my favorite artists. You'll hear me say that a lot, a lot of favorite artists. And, and sooner or later, we're going to get my wife on YouTube in, in front of the camera and see if she can pick some of her favorites out. But we'll start, try to go chronologically. Ram, one of my favorites. I don't have Paul McCartney's first album yet on vinyl. Every copy I've found is just battered. Um, Ram, uh, the, you know, obviously the second album from Paul and Linda, technically not a Wings album, and I believe this is the only one to their duo credit, uh, second album after leaving the Beatles and spending some time at, in, uh, in Scotland. Besides the music, which is so playful on this, I love this album, it's always been my go-to Paul album, I always got a kick out of the two Beatles on the back, so of course Paul was fresh from leaving the Beatles, and if you look at these Beatles, one Beatle is giving it to the other Beatle pretty much straight up the ass. So um, I think you can kind of draw your own conclusions. Is that Paul and John or what that might be? But that's just one of those images that it's softly spoken, but it's really powerful. It's good stuff. Ram. Ram on, everyone. Um, second, Band on the Run. I think everybody knows this album. You know, this copy obviously is a little distressed. It's the best I've been able to find for now. Um, the vinyl is in perfect condition, which of course is what counts. When Wings had three members, here they were, Denny, Paul, Linda. So many great songs on this, Band on the Run, Jet, um, and on and on and on. The ones everybody knows, some folks may not know, Mrs. Vanderbilt and Bluebird are two more great songs. I always love the kind of the Keystone Capers shot on the cover. It's another great album, uh, one that just plays out really well. I'd love to get a better condition copy. Next up was Venus and Mars. Um, Venus and Mars is one that it's always taken me a bit of time to get into. It's rewarding when you do. It tends to be, to me, a little more harder edged. I always thought the inside of this gatefold was their interpretation of Mars, or maybe it was Venus. I'm not too sure, but it's uh, it's definitely a great record. It's probably one of the last ones I go to when I want to listen to Wings. Um, I always liked all of Wings' inserts as well. I just thought they were well done over the, the standard vinyl jacket. Um, always had some very interesting labels. I think you can see on this one the two dots that carry forward from uh, from the cover design. I always thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, that's Venus and Mars. Next is one of my favorite Wings albums, uh, and it's Wings at the Speed of Sound. This is just a great record. Songs like Let Him In and, of course, Silly Love Songs, which Carlton on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air used to sing regularly, but without Carlton uh, being a necessity here to enjoy the record, you know, of course, this is just a classic, excellent, excellent Wings LP. Again, one of my favorite, Wings at the Speed of Sound. Love this record. Next up is the tie for my favorite Wings album. Uh, obviously, as you can tell, I'm a big Wings fan, love Wings. Wings Over America, the triple LP, is, is definitely one of my favorites. This is just Wings in Concert. It has a great sound. Paul does some amazing stuff here. 
Maybe I'm Amazed, I believe became a big radio hit just off of this album, this version, the live version that went to radio, even though the song had already been around for five, six years at this point, off Paul's first solo album. But this is fantastic. Um, copies of this on CD, legitimate copies, tend to fetch $50, $60 or more on eBay. Surprisingly, a lot of Paul's material is out of print on CD. You know, there was a Paul McCartney collection released maybe five or ten years ago, uh, maybe more than that, early 90s, I may be off there a bit, but that's long out of print, and his CDs tend to fetch, fetch um, a pretty penny, not too sure why, uh, you'd think he'd be a million seller, they'd be eager to release them, but I'm sure there's something licensing going on there, this of course opens up into a gatefold, it's in a plastic sleeve right now, I'm trying to take the best care of this copy that I can until can get a better one, but as with all, the vinyl is in, you know, perfect condition, sounds great, and that's what it's all about, I'm really happy just to have a copy next up is the uh the tide from my favorite wings record hands down and that's london town folks tend to uh be on the fence that i've spoken to with regard to london town or that i've read about on the web they either love it or hate it i love it i think london town and with a little luck um you know besides being hits with a little luck anyways are just fantastic songs and I'm carrying is very emotional. You know, this is just one that I had to reach out and, and buy on eBay even for a few dollars, plus the unfortunate few dollars shipping. Uh, just really had to have it. It's a great record. And it was nice to find a copy that had the big gatefold poster of Wings without the pinholes, so it had never been hung on anyone's wall. I don't think Wings competed for wall space with Kiss too much when this came out right around the same time as maybe Love Gun would have come out. But London Town, again, you know, a tie, a close tie for my favorite Wings album. It's fantastic. If you've never heard it, you really should. A couple more to go, and we'll move on another night to the rest of Paul's solo catalog. Wings Greatest, besides having an excellent cover, I've always thought this statue, uh, whatever it may be, the imagery there was just fantastic. It always caught my eye as a kid. Probably my first exposure to Wings was hearing this record when I was much, much, much younger in the late 70s early 80s uh i always just thought this was a great song um you know it has songs from some of the wings vinyl that i'm missing like red rose um speedway and you know a couple of the other ones but live and let die of course the song from casino uh live and let die rather excuse me is here overall it's just a fantastic one to put on if you really just want to hear the wings hits and not some of the more experimental or artistic things that they tend to do and, and Paul can certainly be one to go off on on different tangents sometimes so again just um overall a great record you know you're always getting into something special with a Wings record and you know as with most during their day some of the uh the playful material of course that came with them you know another big Wings poster here uh probably won't hang that on the wall but it's there nonetheless. And then lastly, what um, was Link Wing's last record is Back to the Egg. Back to the Egg, again, probably not one of my favorite uh, Wing's records. I definitely like it more than Venus and Mars with songs like Old Sam, Sir, uh, the Rockestra theme, and so forth. I always liked this image here with Paul and, and the folks looking out into space. You know, you can see the moon there. But always thought it was pretty neat that they were, you know, in... Um, in some type of a, a backlit dining room or whatever it might be here. See the same statue up here from the Wings Greatest Hits album cover. Um, it's one that I, I tend to come back to. I like to try to get into it. Uh, it just really hasn't happened yet. It hasn't become one of my, my favorite Wings go-to albums. But here it is, here it stays, and, and we'll see. So that's about it for tonight. Again, just sharing some more of my collection with you. Tonight it was Wings. We'll move on and maybe take a look at some Paul McCartney or who knows what in the future. But thanks for watching. Feel free to leave your comments and speak to you soon.